Do you constantly find your Google Drive cluttered with random files like images, PDFs, and documents all in one place? Well, in this video, I will show you Autofile Organizer Workflow Automation built using N8N that solves that and neatly organizes all your Google Drive files. Let's see how it works. Step one, the workflow begins with a manual trigger. When you click execute workflow inside N8N, it starts scanning the selected Google Drive folder. This gives you full control over when the sorting should happen. Step two, now the workflow uses the search files and folders node to look inside a specific Google Drive folder. It finds all the files stored there, regardless of type, and returns them in a list for processing. Step three, now the workflow enters a loop using the split in batches node. This node processes each file one by one. It ensures that even if there are dozens of files, each one is handled individually. Step four, download each file's metadata. This includes the MIME type, which helps it understand the kind of file it is dealing with, whether it's an image, PDF, or something else. Step five, now it reaches the condition check. If the MIME type equals to application slash JSON is true, the file is treated as a general document. Once identified, the workflow ensures these files are stored in a central location and thus moved to the documents folder. It ensures files are neatly categorized so you can quickly find and use them later. Next, it returns to the loop and runs over again, which then picks up the next files and processes them. Now, if the MIME type equals to application slash PDF is true, it keeps them separate from editable files to make it quicker to locate and helps avoid accidental change. And thus, the file is then moved to the PDFS folder and organized clearly. By doing this, the workflow creates a dedicated space for all the finalized documents, perfect for archiving, sharing with clients, or pulling up in meetings. And if it's not a PDF either, the final check is for image files. If true, the file is moved to the images folder. Each move action is followed by return to the loop, which then picks up the next file and repeats the process. The loop continues running until every file in the folder has been processed and moved to its correct place. At the end of execution, the source folder is empty and all your files are neatly organized. If you deal with cluttered folders, this can save you hours of cleanup time. You can download the exact workflow from the link in the description. If you found this valuable, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon because we will be dropping more workflow breakdowns like this. And if you want us to build a custom flow based on your use case, leave a comment with your request. See you in the next video.